It's a mystery that would make a great movie. A famous painting stolen from a museum more than 30 years ago found inside a New Mexico couple's home after their death. The painting's worth $165 million. The dead couple were teachers. How did it get there? News 13's Rebecca Atkins has the story. It was the morning after Thanksgiving, 1985, at the University of Arizona's Museum of Art. The staff that worked here at the time still haven't recovered from that feeling of loss. U of A police say a man and woman followed a museum staff member. The woman distracted the security guard, and the man used a blade to cut out this painting, a Willem de Kooning called Woman Ochre. Of the realistic side of me that thought. It may not come back. But in August, that famous painting wound up in the Manzanita Ridge Furniture and Antique Shop in Silver City. It was recognized by one of our customers. Buck Burns and his co owner David purchased the painting for two grand from the estate of Rita and Jerry Alter of Cliff, New Mexico. We weren't sure if it was an original. But it was. The couple, both now dead, had it hanging in their bedroom behind the door, nearly invisible if you enter the room. Yeah, my personal opinion was it was hung specifically and sold for them to enjoy. He says people in the area say the couple collected art, their bedroom seen here covered in paintings. But he says people that knew the altars can't believe they could have stolen it. There were some FBI composite uh, sketches done uh, back, I think it was 32 years ago. Of what the people look like. Um, yes, we they do look very similar. Now the $165 million work of art is back in Tucson. As you go along, you can see how it was just it was a blade, bringing relief to those that so desperately wanted it back. It's closure for a, an injustice that happened 30 years ago. Rebecca Atkins, KRQE News 13. The FBI is investigating to finally figure out who stole the painting.